Aloha everybody, this is Gigi from Kauai Community College. This is a problem on implicit differentiation. Um, if you are in my class, this is one of the homework problems in my math lab. Okay, and here we go. We know that this is implicit differentiation because y is not written directly in terms of x. Okay, so here we'll take the derivative of both sides with respect to x and when we do that on the left hand side one thing that we should remember is the derivative of square root of u with respect to u is 1 over 2 square root of u okay so remember that derivative i've asked you to do that um, if you are in my class to know the derivative um, of square root of x directly so here we will have 1 over 2 square root of square root of what? Square root of whatever that is in there. And then we're going to have to multiply by the inside derivative, right? So what is the inside derivative? That would be the derivative of x to the fourth plus y squared. The derivative of x to the fourth with respect to x is 4x to the third plus the derivative of y squared would be 2y dy dx because we are taking the derivative with respect to x. So y is a composite function, a function in terms of x. So we have to multiply by its inside derivative, which would be the derivative of y with respect to x. So that will equal to, on the right hand side, the derivative of 9x with respect to x is 9, and then the derivative of um, 2y to the third power with respect to x, and that's important, dy dx, um, is 6y squared multiplied by the inside derivative, which would be dy dx. And that's how implicit differentiation is being used. Uh, we're treating y as a function in terms of x, so we have to go and multiply by its inside derivative, which is dy dx. So dy dx are here, and that's what we are after. So from now on, that was calculus, right? So from now on, we will use our algebra skills to go ahead and isolate dy dx. And we can see that dy dx is stuck inside this parentheses here. So that means we are going to have to distribute. So when we distribute this into here, we will have 4x to the third divided by 2 square root of x to the fourth plus y squared. Okay, and as soon as I say 4 divided by 2, I'm going to go ahead and do that division. 4 divided by 2 is going to just be 2. So we have 2x to the third on the uh, first uh, distribution there, plus the 2y dy dx multiplied by 1 over 2. Oh, I see as soon as I say over 2. I'm going to go ahead and divide out the 2. So I will have y over square root of x to the 4th plus y squared multiplied by dy dx. And that will equal to 9 plus 6y squared dy dx. Okay, now. Again, um, when solving for dy dx, we will keep things with dy dx on one side, everything else on the other side. So I'll go ahead and keep dy dx on the left hand side. And um, I'm going to factor out, so I'm going to go ahead and do two things at once here. I'm going to go ahead and subtract this term here to the left hand side and then I'm going to factor as well. 
Okay, so when I factor the dy dx out, I will have y over square root of x to the fourth plus y squared minus 6y squared is equal to 9 minus 2x to the third over square root of x to the fourth plus y squared. That's not a minus, that's a plus. Okay, so this looks kind of weird to have to go ahead and divide both sides by this, right? I mean, you'll have a fraction over a fraction, which looks pretty nasty. Um, however, we will notice that um, the um, denominators are the same. So when we do multiply by the reciprocal, uh, we should be envisioning the fact that that, that denominator is going to cancel out. Um, so the best thing to do at this moment is to go ahead and get a common denominator for these two fractions here. And when I get a common denominator, I would have to go and multiply uh, 6y squared to square root of x to the fourth plus y squared. So that's how I will get now a common denominator on the left-hand side. Okay, I'm going to do the same to the right-hand side where I will multiply 9 by square root of um, x to the fourth, x to the fourth plus y squared, and that was a minus, right? And that's a common denominator there. I'm going to put that in the middle. I don't know why I have the urge to do that. Um, square root of x to the fourth plus y squared. Okay. Now, when we do take um, this right here, this fraction, and divide by this fraction, we have to multiply by the reciprocal. And when we do that, the denominator will cancel out when we flip that over, right? So we will have dy dx equal to 9 square root of x to the fourth plus y squared minus 2x to the third. And then on the denominator, I will have y minus 6y square, square root of x to the fourth plus y square. And that is our final answer.